Hello everyone and welcome back to Kara's Tidbits. Today I am going to be potting on a selection of items for the greenhouse. We have Lufa, beloved of chinchillas. Um, there's aubergine here and chili. There's also a Physalis somewhere, but I'm not oh, there. We are Physalis. Now I can I obviously organised myself exceptionally well. Uh, <laughs> and I've got these three buckets and these have got copper tape on them from last year and I'm just going to put some copper tape on this one it's in the box behind you can grab it nice selection of compost here and I'm just going to put them in along with some seaweed pellets so a nice plant food and we've prepared some water retaining granules because it's bound to get quite dry in the greenhouse and it means I don't have to worry too much about watering it quite as often I have the camera while you split some compost between these buckets, please. Use the veggie one of these two, please. There's the New Horizon. It's a veggie compost. You've not used this one before, have you? I haven't used this one before, so I don't know what it's like. Hello, crow. Yeah, we broke, I broke this for the scissors. Hello, crow. What are you doing over there, crow? I think the crow is waiting for the seeds. I don't think they're gonna... Oh. <laughs> Off he goes. These two. These buckets are 35 litres. They're the same buckets I use for potatoes. But roughly an equal amount in each one. The bag got away from me. That doesn't seem like 25 litres, does it? Uh, no. Can you pass me the scoop and then I can do stuff? It's right there, the pink one. <laughs> I was going to say you can just go in from the side, but you can't. <laughs> that will be revealed in another video. Now, I've reconstituted them and there's enough for three buckets here. I'm giving it a lot of feed because the loofahs are quite hungry plants and also I'm putting more than one thing in here. gonna have to use if I use a Jack's magic so I can give it a fair old go. I miss being able to go through the side of the greenhouse. How much one in each? I think we're probably gonna end up using all of that. So about half and half. Then. So tip to about that full. Yeah that's perfect. I'm in the same amount. In the same amount. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. Because I was going to top it with the mulch as well. Oh, I'll do some more of this in this layer as well. We've gone through so much compost this year because I'm doing all the potatoes in pots. Mm. Hopefully next year I can just reuse it. Yeah, I feel like we've got what two big loads of compost this year so far. I want to arrange it so these are against the back of the greenhouse, so I'm thinking and you can see why the loofah needed repotting. Mm, yeah. Not particularly root bound though, is it? No, it's not. It's just about right. I'm going to put it up a little bit in the hump because we're going to put some mulch in. I'm just going to have them matching. I haven't quite decided what I'm doing yet. See, that one's got more roots on it. Mm -hmm. Aubergine. I hadn't decided yet whether I was going to put one or two aubergines in, but I think I will actually go with two and just make sure to give it a lot of food. because they will get quite big, but I'm hoping this will only get big higher up. So if I say this will get, so the aubergine will get big, but the leafy will get tall. Yeah. Can you pass me those, what are they called? Where the, you know the, the wood that you found? The triangles. Yeah. yeah. start on the climbing front because um, I don't actually have it set up in there yet. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn it around so you can see a little better. I'm gonna put a little chili in. I'm gonna do two things. Now this is probably way too much but I did use a lot of food. chili at the front. These are only very tiny so they shouldn't cause any problems at all. It's all quite spaced out as well isn't it? Mason? But they will grow. This is why we need to be careful when we're putting things in. to mention is I forgot to mention as well these have all had a really good water. I'm just gonna step back here and get some of the mulch. I don't know why I've got wet with trouser legs. Have things been splashing? to the greenhouse. <laughs> um, my foot. 
<laughs> um, Tippets, are you stuck? Yeah. For a big old scoop of the reconst reconstituted stuff. Scoop of that. Mix. You might need to go all the way to the bottom because you don't want different soil consistencies at the bottom. This is the Cape Gooseberry that's been at the allotment for a little while. I have more than I know what to do with basically and it'll shade the root area up the selection of things for the greenhouse. Thank you for watching for now.